So I have a good news and a bad news. There's finally a model that is almost as good as GPT-4. The other good news is this was released by a company that created Mistral 7B, which was an open source model. And the bad news is that the same company that released an open source model and went viral, I don't think they have plans to continue open source anymore. So if you go through the model details here, so you can see that it, it comes very close to the performance of GPT-4 on common sense reasoning, truthful QA, and then even on the language multilingual capabilities, it supports all the major European languages like French, English, Spanish, German, and Italian. It does 32K context window. It does really better on math, but unfortunately you will not find open source anywhere. I was kind of hoping to see if we could, you know, get a GPT-4 level open source model this year. And Mistral seemed to be one of the very close contenders to do that. It seems like that might have changed after their interaction with Microsoft. So you can see the model itself is released on their own platform, which is this platform chat Mistral. And the other place where they've released this model is on Microsoft Azure, which does not surprise me with respect to the fact that they've not open sourced to wait, just like they did for their previous viral model. I'm assuming that might have been a marketing tactic of sorts. But anyways, what we're going to be looking at is comparing this model with a couple of prompts when it comes to GPT-4 that I'm going to be running on Perplexity AI and then Gemini Advanced Model. So we'll run a couple of prompts code wise or reasoning wise, math wise, and see how good or bad this model is with respect to the overall performance. So let's start by a basic reasoning question that only GPT-4 was apparently able to answer right for the very first time. And <laughs> this, trust me, like this is a very basic problem. I sold two cars yesterday. I had three this morning. How many cars do I have now? Both Gemini and the other open source models that I had tested on said that I have left. And this one seems to give me good reasoning with respect to the answer because the previous models, open source models that I tried on, including Llama, did not give me the correct answer for this. Let me take the same question, put it here on GPT-4, which I'm sure will answer the question correctly, but let's just do it for the sake of testing it out. Yeah, you have three cars, so I'm not surprised here. And there you go. I, I don't understand why in the, you know, why on the reasoning side, Gemini did somewhere better, I think. Yeah, on the code side, not on the reasoning side. But look at this thing. I mean, this is the most advanced model by Google. It still gives me this wrong answer for this basic question, right? Really weird. Even the open source models like Mistral Large are now doing better. By the way, this is where you can see the Mistral, if the model is correctly selected. So I have Mistral Large selected. Now let me ask another question. But this time, more on the lines of a creative generation, rather. I'm going to turn off the co-pilot here. Let me ask one question, fresh context. So I'm going to give some garbage information and then have a word dope. And I'm going to say write a poem on this. See if we can get anything creative done here. I know this is nowhere close to creativity, but let's see if it can turn garbage into something meaningful. So it kind of took that as a literal and a rhythmic twins. Okay, unclear, a code. In the realm of keys, a dance begins something a rhythmic twins a pattern unclear a code yet unknown in the worlds of in the world of words a new tone is sown interesting lurdy cryptic a tune so dope like a secret message it gives us hope interesting all right so gpt4 seems to have done a decent job too but it kind of broke down the word right so you can see it's using the breakdown of this words like po and no and it's using this word separately where air it's not too bad i'm not going to read this because this is straight up garbage and there you go this this i i don't know if this is the video to test out mistral or say that gemini still sucks look at this i'm not happy with the generation at all i mean i know that it makes no sense and that's exactly why i fed the to fed it to the model i mean it seems like the over cautiousness of the model is going to kill the model. Now let's give out a complex math problem and see if we are able to come up with anything on those lines. Found this way, very basic math problem that says which number is equivalent to 3 raised to 4 divided by 3 raised to 2. Let's feed this to the model. Let's start a new chat and feed this here. Copilot is off. And finally to Gemini advanced now i don't know what the correct answer is but i'm going to refer where i got the question from so hold on 
So yeah, correct answer is nine. And Mr. L was correctly able to give us the answer. Dividing the powers by same as you can subtract the exponent of the denominator from the exponent of the numerator, which is three raised to four divided by three raised to two. Simplifies to three raised to four minus two, which is correct. Which is three square, which is equal to nine. And GPT-4 without the surprise got this correct as well. For a change, even Gemini got this correct, but I don't see the value in the reasoning because if you look at this, giving me 3 raised to 4 minus 2, even here it's giving me 3 raised to 4 minus 2, but on Gemini it's directly coming to the answer. So overall, like I would rate these two as okay answers, but this one is missing one important step, you know, important step of the reasoning. It says we can simply the expression by evaluating the exponents and dividing by the numbers. So it's kind of doing the whole, you know, exercise, but not using the formula here, which is correct. I'm not saying it's bad. It says that I would rather recommend having like a correct flow to have like scalable answers. So let's say if this was, what is the answer for, hold on, now solve for, let me complicate this problem, right? So now if you raise to something like this, even with these formula, this wasn't, wouldn't be easy, but you know, at least it's giving us the way to solve it, right? Now, if I put this same here on Gemini, will it do the whole thing? So it's better to know how to solve the problem, you know, using some sort of method that exists than actually going through like shortcuts. But it seems it done, it has done a decent job here. So it says it canceled the common factors. Again, it's still not giving me what I want. But anyways, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, you know, keep moving. And this time we'll be looking at a code problem. Right, code for snake game in Python. This is a classic Python problem. And I'm gonna feed this across GPT and Gemini as well. And we'll try to see if we can run the output generated by one of these models and run it locally to see how you know if, if what it what's generated does actually work right so it's generating the output here you can see as for gpt4 it's way faster and it's using pi game which is something that i was looking for because without this there i don't think there will be an execution window where i can run it and gemini is also using pi game apparently in the benchmarks this performs better than the mistral large model so if you look at the coding coding comparison here it even performs better than gpt4 so i would be surprised if this gets this wrong if i look at the output gpt4 output looks way detailed than this but let's for a, you know for the sake of testing it out let's copy this and see if we can run it locally to see if it actually works this is the output from Mistral, but I don't think this is going to work. Again, let's, let's try it out. So it seems it's working on the code that we copied from Gemini, I think. You can see I'm actually playing the game here. It's not too bad. These, yeah, not bad. So I can definitely write a snake game using Gemini. Sure. All right. Let's try the code from other models now. You can see I can press Q to quit. This is from GPT-4 and this seems to be working as well it has this nice fancy background and the snake seems to be moving relatively slower than the one that i saw on the uh, gemini output now let's finally try this one fairly confident it's not going to work but let's give it a try in Eagles. Ah, interesting. You can see it's working in terminal, but apparently you I, I see it took the command but you can see it's, it, it will keep continue to fail. So again, overall, it did give me the code, but it is not something that, not in a way that I was looking for, right? So, I mean, if, if you want to just run something, Pygame is like the most recommended library for it. You clearly saw it won't work in terminal. So going to try one final prompt and this time a biography of an insect who lives for a day. This is a fairly, complex bio so i'm just going to feed this here to mistral and then i'm also going to be feeding this on gpt4 i'm also going to be feeding this on gpt by the way if you're interested in knowing more about perplexity go ahead and check out my master class it's on youtube you will be able to learn every feature about perplexity they apparently have already have AI agents in integrated so definitely kind of take a look at how it works it's an amazing tool i'm not using google i'm not using chat gpt anymore i'm primarily working on perplexity for all my use cases so it's very interesting tool and I'd, I'd be excited if you'd want to try it out and you know i have like a complete free masterclass on youtube so i'd be interested to hear your thoughts on it either ways i think the output is ready and you can see the ephemeral life of ephemera Danica, a one day wonder. Interesting. 
and it kind of wrote a short bio here living underwater for about a year which wasn't which isn't what we were looking for if an insect who lives for a day all right so this is clearly not going to work mayfly right so in the lush banks of wandering river a tiny nymph was a mayfly a member of ephemeral order destined to live just for a single day in its wing form spent a year apparently it seems like an insect that lives for a year but only takes flight for a day it seems right so and i think that's going to be the case for the biography here as well again you would see the generations this and this seem relatively connected but this seems like gpt3 for some reason right so overall i think this is good and it does compare somehow when it comes to the output generated by gpt4 it's again not there perfectly but honestly like for the prompts that i tried this did a really good job the only bummer is that this is not open source and i wish this was open source because we could definitely say today that we had an open source winner versus gpt4 but it seems that's not going to happen anytime soon and i hope it does so anyways thank you for watching guys i hope you learned something new from the video and i'll see you guys in the next one